In the last lecture we have studied about regular expressions and in this lecture we will be seeing some examples of regular expressions. We will see how to form regular expressions from some given sets. Alright, so here we have the question that is to describe the following sets as regular expressions. So here we have five sets given here and these are just written like this means the elements of these sets are mentioned and instead of just writing like this we will see how can we describe these sets in the form of a regular expression. Alright, so let's see the first one. The first one is a set containing the symbols 0, 1 and 2. That means it could contain anything from 0 or 1 or 2. These are the things that can be contained in this set. So in, form, in the form of a regular expression it can be written like this. Let's say the regular expression is r. r equal to 0 or 1 or 2. So this plus symbol is used to denote or. So 0 or 1 or 2. So these are the things that can be contained in this set and this is the regular expression that is used to denote this. So it was simple. So let's come to the second one. Here we see that the empty symbol and AB. These are the only symbols present in this set. So this will be denoted like this. R equal to the empty symbol and AB. So we see that here when the empty symbol was not included and when we had more than one elements, we used the plus symbol to denote. But here when you only have one symbol and the empty symbol along with it, you don't have to use the plus or or symbol but you can just write empty symbol and AB. So these are the only things that will be accepted or that is present in this set and this is a regular expression that is used to describe this. Alright, so I hope that was clear. So let's come to the third one. In the third one, we have the symbols ABB, AB and BBA. So this means that it can be anything like ABB or A or B or BBA. So any of these symbols can be present in the set or a language that contains this, any of these symbols will be accepted. So how do we write the regular expression? It's very simple. Just write, since it is a OR here, you just have to use the plus symbol. A, B, B, OR, A, OR, B, OR, B, B, A. So this is how you can write the regular expression for this set. Alright, now let's come to the fourth one. So here we see the empty symbol, then 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, and so on. So what is this? I have already explained this in the last lecture. If you remember, if you look carefully, you find that these are any strings that can be formed by using the zero symbol. Zero, 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 zero or any more symbols that can be formed by putting together any number of zeros that you want. So all the strings that can be formed using zero along with the empty symbol, it denotes the closure of 0. So this is the closure. This is the closure of 0. So how do we denote closure? I already explained. This can be denoted by R equal to 0 closure. So when you give a star mark or an asterisk mark as a superscript, it denotes the closure of that symbol. So this is 0 closure. Alright, so let's come to the last one. Here we have 1 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, and so on. So this also means any strings that can be formed by using this symbol 1. So you can put any number of 1's together and whatever you form is the set here. So is this the closure of 1? This looks like the closure of 1, but this is not the closure of 1. Why? We can call it a closure only when all the strings that can be formed by the symbol along with the empty symbol is included. But here we see that the empty symbol is not included. So we cannot call this a closure. So instead you denote it like this r equal to 1 and instead of a star like this we denote it with a cross symbol. So this denotes the closure of a symbol excluding the 
empty symbol. So this is how you denote it when the empty symbol is not present. So I hope this was clear to you. This is how we describe the sets as regular expressions. So I hope this was helpful and we will see more examples after we study some more rules and identities that we need to know about regular expressions which we will be seeing in the next lecture. So thank you for watching and see you in the next one.